what we're showing here is the Baldor grinder half horse that uh, Perry Products distributes. And we're going to show you how to assemble an expander, a 10 inch expander wheel to the grinder. Um, and uh, here is the expander wheel, the 10 inch expander wheel as it comes out of the box. You have your guard and you have your three bolts to attach the guard to the Baldor unit. The tools you will need for that is a 15 16 wrench and a 7 16 socket wrench. So, first step is to remove the bolt and the flanges from the shaft. You will notice the, the roll pin here on the shaft. You don't need to remove that. We will first attach the guard to the grinder. We recommend that you attach the guard at about the one o'clock angle to protect your body from debris flying off the wheel. If you attach it like that, you will likely get stuff into your face. It's not a safe position. Put the bolts in here, the three bolts. Now we will tighten the boat. The next step, uh, in case you're not using a Baldor grinder unit, the important thing to notice is that you will need at least two and a half inches of shaft length from the collar to be able to assemble uh, the expander wheel onto this shaft. Um, there are some grinders that have different shaft diameter. This is a 5 8 inch shaft diameter. If you have a half inch shaft or a three quarter inch shaft, we supply uh, different diameter bu bushings that you can obtain from your supplier and exchange the bushings that come on the expander wheel. The expander wheel comes with a standard 5.8 bushing. Next step now on the assembly process is to insert the flange, the internal flange with the flat face facing out and make sure that the notch of the flange slides over your roll pin and all the way against the collar. Make sure everything moves freely. Next step, we will uh, mount the expander wheel and you will notice there's a direction, rotation direction. This is the front of the unit so the shaft will spin clockwise and that's the rotation you want to mount it on. Notice also the angle of the lamella of the wheel. That's the correct direction to mount it. We'll slide that on. And the next step and final step is where you put your nut. There's no need for the external flange to be used. You hold the wheel and using your 15, 16 wrench, Tighten it. This, is, this nut is a self-tightening nut. So what means is that once you start the engine, it will tend to tighten it even further. Ready to go.